today I've got a fun share of some no line colouring with artist markers. Welcome back, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and today it's the release of the new Builder Flower from Alton New and it's the Indian Lotus. It's a beautiful Builder Flower set and I thought I'd start by using one of the layering images from the leaf and creating an ombre sort of style background using some pretty greens. It's the grass field and firefly. Now this was really quick and easy to stamp out. I did do the lighter color at the top of the piece of cardstock. It's some Nina 80 pound cardstock and I always like to stamp more than I need. That way if I do happen to miss a stamp anywhere on there I can choose the portion that I want to use that is not misstamped. <laughs> not that I'd ever do that, of course. And to check that I've stamped enough to cut out a panel, I have a piece of scrap cardstock with an A2 window cut out of the center, and that also helps me to choose which area or which portion of the panel I want to use for my card front later on. Now, I'm going to be doing some no line coloring, so I want a really pale image. So, what I'm doing is I've got some permanent black ink. I'm stamping it on some scrap paper once, removing the paper and then stamping the image without re-inking onto my Nina 80 pound cardstock. That will give me a very light colored image to color because basically even though it's called no line coloring there is actually a line just that by the time you do all your coloring you really can't see the lines because they are so pale. It does help to have a second image either stamped or keep the packaging off to the side so that you can refer to the actual image to work out if it's a leaf, if it's a petal, which way you might want the light coming from. I find that if I've colored the image a few times it does make it easier. So this is the first time that I've colored this image and I'm using some of the pink artist markers here and they're really pretty colors and as I'm coloring the flower it does get a bit quicker. My first petal here actually goes quite slowly but that's just me sort of working out where I want the highlights. I start with the lighter color, come in at the edges with the darker color and then draw it out with the lighter color again. I do like to try and leave some white space if I can because that will give me the look of some light reflecting on the actual petal and if you look in real life light doesn't just fall one way and flowers flower petals kind of flip and flop all different ways so you can have light sort of coming off different areas of the petals don't get too hung up about it <laughs> this image actually probably got a little bit darker than I'd planned but I think that that's okay because I have got a really busy green background to put it on and I do want it to sort of stand out. It's just not what I'd originally pictured in my head, but I think it worked out better with the bolder colors and sometimes with no line coloring. It is harder to keep it lighter when you're going to add shadows, but don't be afraid to add the shadows, especially near the end. Come in with a really a deep color or even a pencil, even a black pencil. I'll often do that and come in to the really um, sharp corners, well the nooks and crannies as Kathy Rakusen would say to make the rest of the image look more dimensional. And because this is a builder flower set that means that it has coordinating dies that come with the set so I just use the coordinating flower die to cut this out because I'm going to be popping this up on the front of my card. I've got a sentiment from the tabbed set and I'm stamping that directly on the A2 panel that I've cut out of the other sheet that I created earlier and that says beautiful and I've used, just used some obsidian black ink for that. Attach this to the front of a top fold card and then I can simply pop up my flower and my hello die cut sentiment. I love this retro font and it's from the bold greetings die set this one. It's got three different sentiments in the set. I think it's hello, hi, and thank you. 
really fun. It's that real kind of, um, I don't know, neon light style sentiment, I think. Now I hope you're inspired to try some no-line colouring with your alcohol markers and I'll link everything that I've used at my blog also in the description below. If you want more inspiration for this Build a Flower set, I will also have the links at my blog. And if you did like today's video, I'd love it if you click on the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, it'd be great if you could subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you here again next time. Till then, happy paper crafting. Bye.